people people stress out about how to put it in the air. I mean, I know when I had my first antenna, I was like, what do I need? Three different trees to hang this thing from, or or whatever. And then one of the OMs in the club was like, just make an inverted V, and I'm like, what the heck is an inverted V? You know, like yeah. you hear this term and you don't know what it is, um, but it's literally exactly what it sounds like it's a upside down V and so you put the center up as high as you can get it and then you bring the legs down as low as you can well not really as low as you can get them but you bring the legs down to a point that's as high as you can get them but probably isn't parallel with the with the center so it looks like an inverted V and uh, plug that into your radio if it is a resonant antenna on the band of interest or plug it into your tuner and that's where it gets fun if you you've used a manual tuner before I have used a manual tuner before. Let's just, before we go on to that, let's just talk though about that inverted V because I'm going to do some very quick, uh, <laughs> oh. some very quick drawing. MSP. So what? Oh, it was the quickest one I could go for. So what TO is talking about with an inverted V is something that looks like this. This is your dipole antenna, and these are the two wires or the two legs of your dipole antenna, and you've got this suspended. Uh, let me pick another color. You've got this suspended either on a on a on a on a pole or a, a in a tree or on a tree limb or some sort of support that can support it right right there. That's the center feed point. That's where your coax connects, and then each side of the coax is your your uh, your dipole legs. And basically, the idea behind this is that you can fit an inverted V into a smaller space than a regular dipole so these these are the ends and that's sort of the space that you occupy if this was a regular dipole you'd be looking at something that would be much much longer and your paint skills are on point <laughs> i need to use photoshop uh but if this was if if oh dear it was going well until i changed the color so basically this would be your two horizontal dipole legs here and your feed point would be in the middle so that's sort of the idea, I think, or the main idea behind an inverted V. As you move the, the legs of the dipole further down, your impedance gets lower as well. So you've got an impedance. Uh, a horizontal dipole has, has an impedance of about 72 ohms. So as you start to move down the legs of the dipole, depending on your surroundings and things, you'll probably notice that you'll get a better match to, to 50 ohms. But mm -hmm. um, I, I think it's a very good thing to bring up and and it's good that you brought up the inverted v because it is a good starting antenna and it's the antenna that i started with um i started with a and we'll get into this i suppose a little bit long uh, a little bit later but i started with a 15 meter inverted v oh, and and the problem was is that at the time the sol the solar cycle was at minimum and there was no dx there was no activity on the band so of course i put this 15 meter dipole up thinking that I'll hear lots of people on air and I didn't hear anyone and got quite frustrated. And then that's when I reached out to someone in the local club who said, no, no, you're using the wrong band here. And he come along and, and he built up and brought along an, an 80 meter dipole. And then I was, I was good to go. He's like, all you need to know is turn on your radio when it gets dark and you'll hear people. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what happened. So. Anyway, sorry, uh, manual tuners. Let's 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 move on to that. Yeah, manual tuners. That was the next part. I mean, I, I guess one last thing on the um, the inverted V dipole or doublet is, I had no idea how to get it up in the air. Am I supposed to go out and buy a forty foot tall post from the local big box store? Am I supposed to get a, a flagpole kit? This is starting to get really expensive, and you can literally just toss a piece of rope over a tree limb somewhere. It doesn't even have to be like they say you know a half wave off the ground is the ideal height or a quarter wave off the ground is an ideal height for a, a dipole and don't worry about that worry about getting the antenna in the air first getting getting to know the bands a little bit getting to know what the conditions are in your area have a lot of fun um, i mean you can have a lot of fun with an antenna that's three feet off the ground don't worry about stuff like that mm. you can you can get farther along in the hobby and worry about that but just toss a rope over a tree limb and and pull it up and that works great for getting the antenna in the air. 